Okay, so we have these two armored Toyota Fortuners. They're brand new. These are probably the most discreet, the most economical, cost-efficient, and practical armored vehicle on the road today, especially here in the Philippines. Now, a lot of people have this misconception that the Fortuner is not bulletproof because it's too big. Don't be deceived by the 2.8 liter diesel, turbo diesel engine. Although it has 174 horsepower, it has 450 newton meters of torque. So, when you're carrying load on a vehicle, you're not looking for horsepower. What you're looking for is torque. So these vehicles are extremely capable of pulling the massive amount of weight that we put on it by using the right amount of steel to protect you inside the vehicle. Let me give you guys a tour of what a bulletproof Fortuner looks like. Let's start with the doors. A lot of people say, Mabigat. Well, that's because we use steel to protect the vehicle. Now, there's a lot of other people na sasabihin, Oh, masyadong mabigat yung kotse, masyadong ganun, masyadong ganun. First and foremost, hindi naman pinabubuhat sa inyo yung sasakyan. Yung kotse ang nagtumatakbo, hindi ho kayo bumubuhat. So, walang kwenta kahit mabigat siya. Secondly, over the years, gumanda na ang technology ng bakal. So, gumaan, tumibay. We use imported steel. Not that we don't support local, but we don't have steel here in the Philippines that is number one, lighter. Number two, more durable. Number three, able to withstand the level six protection that most rating agencies uh, require. So let's start with the door. We use steel on the whole door and transparent armor on the window. Now this transparent armor is basically, ang dami nagsasabi na it's bulletproof glass. It's not glass. It's basically plastic. This is an enormous amount of plastic fused into one thick piece of uh, transparent armor. It doesn't deflect bullets, but it absorbs bullets so that it doesn't penetrate through. The transparent armor we use are rated up to a level 6. It means that it can withstand three shots by 120 millimeter triangle by up to an AK-47, 7.62 round, I believe. So that's the transparent armor. Now, you have the option of having us roll down the window or not roll down the window up to about four to five inches. I always recommend the window not to be rolled down. Why? Because eventually, nasisira yung motor. Pag nasira yung motor nito and you're out and about, you're sacrificing your safety. So, as much as possible, better not have the windows go up and down, but if you really have to, you can have that option. Now, this is what you call a spall return. Okay? A spall return is basically used to protect the passengers inside from stray bullets from going through. Now, it serves two purposes. One is it catches any bullets that goes through the gaps. Binsan nagre-ricochet yung bala, saan-saan pumapasok. So, this ensures na walang papasok. It covers all the gaps. Secondly, in the event of an ambush, the first thing that an assailant, assailant does is they start shooting at the glass. They start shooting at what they can see. Although this, this uh, transparent armor is tinted, can't see much through inside, this is the first thing they attack. The most vulnerable part of this transparent armor is the surrounding sides. So we have the spall return directly buttressed against the transparent armor so that in the event that the assailant wants to break the window, the whole window won't cave in. 
So, isa pang security feature niya yan. So, it carries all throughout the front and the rear of the vehicle. You have the spall returns as well. Okay. Let's go to the back. Now, this is a V-spec Fortuner, means that it's the top of the line. It's a 4x4, and at the same time, it has leather and everything else combined to it. Now, this is what we call a bulkhead door. The reason why this design was implemented, it started from all the military uh, technology that has gone through the years, all the development. And a lot of the companies, security agencies in the Middle East have found that this is the most efficient way to protect the people inside the vehicle without sacrificing the integrity of the rear door. A lot of people before, a lot of armoring companies, what they do is they armor the rear door. Now, when you armor the rear door, ang pinakamalaking problema mo is the shock absorbers on the rear door. Masyadong matigas dapat, so it's very hard to manipulate. By using a bulkhead door, it eliminates the problem of having a heavy door, and it keeps everything looking stock. Okay, which is what you want in an armored vehicle. You want the car to blend in and not to stand out. Okay. So like I said, it's a fully loaded vehicle. Now let's take a test drive on one of the cars. All right, so we're inside a fully armored Toyota Fortuner. If you can see, it looks very normal inside. The only difference is that you can feel a little bit of the weight of the car. But what's very surprising is yung pickup niya. Actually, the engine is extremely responsive for adding 750 kilos to the car. The response of the engine is very, very quick. The suspension has also been upgraded. We have a special suspension that we special order from a company that specializes in off-road uh, vehicles. So it is perfectly calibrated for the weight that's added to this vehicle. Um, we spare no expense. Now, when it comes to the transparent glass, ang pinakamalaking reklamo ng maraming tao na bumibili ng bulletproof is the fact that nahihilo daw sila when it comes to uh, looking at the windshield, you know? When I started uh, buying armored vehicles in the U.S. in 1996, that was actually very true. As a matter of fact, pag hinawakan mo pa yung salamin, medyo madikit pa. Uh, merong konting uh, parang gunk because back then, the technology wasn't that great. And pag pinunasan mo siya ng prenela, merong natitira-tira minsan. But the technology over the years has changed. Since 1996, we're now at 2020. The way that these resin, uh, plastic uh, resin transparent armor has been produced, ibang klase na. So that the technology has been refined and you can barely see a difference now compared to what it was before. Jorlan, you can show them around and maybe baka hindi masyado makita, ladies and gentlemen, but you know, uh, this is how it is. You can't really see a difference. Dati kasi, once you move your head, para kayong, at, at certain angles, ano, you can see, para kayong nakasalamin na may grado. But now, you can barely see the difference anymore. You know, especially from here, from the uh, side glass. Dati, talagang para nakakaduling siya. But, you guys can feel the difference uh, from other armored vehicles. The way we produce these is we really pay attention to the driver experience because if the driver doesn't feel secure in the vehicle, it doesn't really matter 
how much steel, how much armoring you put into the car if the driver doesn't feel that the car can perform at its peak. And I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to tell you that the way we armor these vehicles, that's the number one thing we consider is the driver experience. And make the passengers feel safe in the back or in the front, whichever the case may be. But driving this Fortuner, you can barely feel the difference from a stock Fortuner. As a matter of fact, my dad drove the same car uh, yesterday and was very surprised. So, gone are the days na ang, ang bulletproof vehicle sobrang bigat na hindi makagalaw. I mean, I understand a lot of your concerns na but sobrang bigat yan, sobrang bigat. But you have to understand too, the number one job of, a, of, of an armored vehicle is to protect the passenger inside is to protect the VIP so irregardless of the weight irregardless of the the amount of steel or however the case that it's armored as long as the car can perform at its peak and still protect the VIP inside the car then the armoring company has done its job okay but as an added bonus like I said we consider because we're very passionate about cars and ako, I don't like the performance being impeded, you know? Ayoko na ha-handicap yung koche dahil sa bigat lang. So, we put a lot of those factors into play so that we can give you the utmost performance and at the same time, unparalleled protection in your bulletproof car. Okay? So, this is, uh, this is the 2020 um, Fortuner, we have it in stock. We have two colors to choose from. We have black and white, and it's available right now. You can take it home as soon as you pay, obviously. And uh, you can come by the showroom. Uh, you can go to W. Lee Auto Trading, Luxury Cars Manila, here along Katipunan Avenue. And you can call me at 0917-463-0077 so we can arrange a private consultation and a confidential test drive so that we can talk to you about your options to keep you and, you and your family safe. All right, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Your choice for armored vehicles, Luxury Cars Manila. Give us a call. Thank you very much for watching our videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. And at the same time, Leave us a comment. Let us know how we did and what you want to see in the future. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching our videos.